Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I'm gonna be talking about removing the passenger side door panel, okay? And I do have links for tools like this little handy dandy toolkit, which has all sorts of great connectors and things um, in the description down below. It's a video I did just a little while back, actually. And this makes the job so much more easier. You know, much like the driver's side door, which I do have a separate video on as well, it's gonna be two uh, torque screws and two 10 millimeters. So that's about it. And then a whole bunch of clips, you know? Um, as far as where the bolts are, I started removing this already but if you just pop this out you can see this just pops out pretty much with ease and then from there there's one 10 millimeter hiding right in here for you okay and the other 10 millimeter is down below okay and the two torques are in the very bottom of the front and very bottom of the back so easy stuff guys um, we're gonna go ahead and remove the panel one more tip for removing the 10 millimeters. I really do like to have an extension and I really like to use a smaller ratchet personally, okay? Um, so that's a good way to go. I will have links in the description for tools I use in this process, but it's very easy, um, but you gotta have that extension, otherwise it's gonna be a bad time. Okay, so I just loosened all the way the second 10 millimeter, which is directly below here, okay? You will be able to see it very easily. And again, that is using the extension. There's no way you're gonna reach it easily with just without the extension. It's just not gonna happen, not gonna be a good time. So again, extension, so one and number two right down here, okay? Okay, so we have the two 10 millimeters out, the two hex uh, torque screws out, and now you're ready to start prying, okay? So you wanna use your tool, and again, I'd recommend using a combination of tools. Maybe you want the metal one, maybe you want the plastic ones. Just be careful. You don't wanna wreck your uh, inner door lining because you're pulling things too hard. Unless, of course, you're replacing the whole thing, which isn't a terrible idea, you know, um, every few years if it starts sagging or something. The reason why I'm removing this today actually is because I'm starting to have a little sag right in here, and I have the money, and it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the whole interior piece. Okay, I want to throw in, as you're pulling this back, I like to start at the top. I know some YouTubers start at the bottom. I personally, I go along with the top. I've seen a few people do it that way too. Um, I like to do the top and then just go through metal clip by metal clip. And there's several of them kind of all the way down. Once you start popping this back a little bit, you'll be able to easily see the metal clips. And I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, once I have the door removed, it'll be even easier to see. But I like to get the top first. And once you have the top, start working your way around the sides. Usually I'll use a combination of both a plastic one to not hurt the leather and that metal one to be able to actually get that force to pop it okay but again it may sound you may think oh my god I'm breaking it but you're not okay just take your time okay and you'll be fine take your time at it be careful and just don't damage your uh, interior okay uh, these cars are expensive obviously want to keep them nice keep them on the road here's a quick shot of those metal clips I was talking about personally I find these the hardest um, so it's good to start with these. You don't want to break these. And these are actually fastened into the car. So this part is going to stay on the actual door and that will pop out from the little holes here in the actual uh, door panel. So easy to do. Again, take your time. Much like the driver's side, there's actually two clips you'll have to work with. There's a gray clip here that when you just push in and pull out. And the second one with the red, the red clip is a little trickier. It's actually when you pull the red part up and then you go ahead and wiggle it out. Some YouTubers show that they actually pull the whole red clip out. In my particular case, the red clip did not want to come out, but the clip did become disconnected, no problem, once it was pulled upward. I didn't want to break my clip, so I wouldn't recommend, if you don't have to remove the red clip, I wouldn't. You can check out some other YouTube videos for a comparison on that, but in my case, the red clip on the second one, the little locking plastic mechanism stayed in place and again it's plastic so you don't want to break it be gentle take your time another important safety tip when reassembling a door is make sure that you don't actually lose the bolt okay it's very easy with the extension on and the 10 millimeter bolt in the door deep in the door well to lose it and then if you do lose it you have to remove all the clips and start all over it can be a real pain because you really can't easily get it out because it's so deep in there and it can fall all the way through as well so be careful you know take your time okay and there you have it guys this door panel is reassembled basically it's everything is step one taking down reverse order put it back up again piece of cake guys just follow tips again take your time and you can do it too believe me this can save you a lot of time and money and it's pretty rewarding actually doing it yourself links for all the tools i use are down below links for recommended tint is down below too if you want to tint your own windows and if you guys have any questions tux toys at gmail.com i am here to help you guys all right all right talk to you soon bye bye Click the links.